Well, hello, Providence financial friends and family. Anthony Sicaro here, founder and president of Providence Financial and Insurance Services located in Woodland Hills, California. Also host of the Providence Financial Retirement Show, which airs every Saturday on KRLA AM 870, The Answer at 9.30 a.m. Wanted to put out a quick video regarding what's going on to uh, with, with your portfolios and that whole Ukraine, Russia situation and the inevitable war that looks like is happening over there. And I'm not going to talk about the war. I'm not going to talk about the political side of things. You guys can watch the news and, you know, learn everything you need to know from Fox or CNN or whoever you listen to. But I do want to answer some of the questions that we have gotten from our clients. And we've had some panicky calls. The market's down, the portfolios are down. And should we sell? Should we go to cash? What should we do at this point? And I want to remind you all, as just very briefly, the, the fact that this is not something we haven't expected. This isn't catching us out of the blue. Uh, we expected that the market was going to go down sometime this year to some degree. Didn't know exactly how much. You never really know why. Uh, but we, we know that the market was overvalued. And if you go back and watch some of my live TV interviews that I did back in November, there were at least two or three that I was on air basically saying, look, in 2022, we're probably going to have a 15 to 25% correction. And then in January, if you watch some of those TV interviews I did, I talked about the fact that I don't think we're going to get to 25%. I don't see that happening. Now, could it? Of course it could. It could go down 50%. But the reality is, is I just didn't see it happening. And, and I still don't know that I see it happening. This is something that's unfolding day by day. But the reality is, is that, um, you know, I, I revised my revisions in January to be maybe 10 to 20%, somewhere in that range with 20% on the high side. Well, the market's down now from its all-time high beginning of January to now we're down 12%. This is not a big deal. This is a very normal situation. And some of you have called me and asked me, well, should I sell? Should I go to cash? And the answer is absolutely not. We Every single one of you that I've spoken with, um, which is is all of you, is has a plan. You guys have a plan in pace, and part of that plan is either you're taking income from your portfolio or you are reinvesting your income, but you all have a plan. The purpose of a plan is to give you a roadmap to follow when something happens. That's why you have an emergency preparedness plan, right? That's why you have an earthquake plan. That's why if there's a fire, there's plans in every single building. So you don't have to think about what to do at the time that it happens. You have a plan ahead of time. And every single one of you have a plan. And the worst thing you can do is change that plan when you're panicking. No good decisions ever happen when you're panicking. And if you were to sell now, why would we do that? We're down 12%. That just doesn't make sense. And if you have a plan in place, your plan allows you to compensate for that 12% drop. So let's talk about that because there's only two scenarios that you're in. You're in a scenario where you're either taking income now or you're not. If you are taking income now, your income's not going to change. Whether your portfolio goes down 12%, whether it goes down 25%, we have you invested for income. That's what we do. We're a retirement income store. We're income specialists. Sound income strategies is managing your money. You're invested for income and your income is going to be very, very, very consistent regardless of the value of the portfolio. We don't care about the value of the portfolio. If you have a million dollars and you're getting $40,000 a year of income, your portfolio could drop to half a million dollars and you're still going to get your $40,000 a year of income. The value of the portfolio is going to fluctuate, but if you're living off your income, that's just noise. If you're not selling shares, you have nothing to worry about. I don't care where it fluctuates to. So bottom line is that is that if you're taking income, your income's gonna be consistent. It's just noise, it doesn't matter. So uh, so good news, if you're taking income, your income's still gonna be there. Uh, what about if you're not taking income? The news is even better for you, why? Because if you got that million dollars and you're reinvesting $40,000 a year, here's a silly question for you, but what would you rather do? Would you rather reinvest that $40,000 when prices are up? When, when your portfolio is up and you got to pay a premium for those assets, for the, for the investments you're going to reinvest? No, of course not. When, when would you rather reinvest that 40000 
when the assets are down, when there's a 10 or 20% discount on the asset. Because now we get to reinvest at a 12% discount. And, and that means that when the market does come back, when your portfolios do come back, guess what's going to happen? You'll come out smelling like a rose because you were able to pick up some things on sale, some investments on sale. But you have to watch, you have to be, you have to know that your portfolio has to drop in value as a whole in order to be able to pick up things on sale. It's a difficult concept to, to really wrap your head around. You know, we, we all want our portfolio to grow. We don't ever want to look at our portfolio and, and hope that it goes down. But the reality is, if you're reinvesting your principal, you want it to go down. The best thing that can happen right now is we stay down at a 10 or 20% discount for a long time. I'd love to stay down in this level for the next six months or so because we get to reinvest that money. The longer you're down here, the more you get things on sale. Um, and nothing goes down forever. And nothing goes up forever. Everything's going to fluctuate. Everything's going to come back. If you're living on your income, who cares about the fluctuation? It's just noise. If you're reinvesting your dividends and interest, this period actually helps you. Let me give you just one more maybe illustration of that so I can help you wrap your head around you know, why it makes sense and why we really want the assets to go down if you are reinvesting. Let's imagine for a second that you have a portfolio of homes. I don't know. I don't care. Let's let's say you have a million dollars worth of homes. Uh, maybe you have five homes at a you know, quarter million dollars each uh, or four homes, I guess. That would be a quarter million dollars each. Now, of course, that would not be in California, but that could be in another state. So you have four homes, quarter million dollars each, and, and you've been taking that rent and you've been saving that rent. You've been putting it aside. You haven't needed it. Okay? You haven't been spending your rent. You've been, you've, been, uh, you've been saving that rent. Now, by the way, little side note, if you're spending the rent, uh, then that's okay. Your rent's going to stay the same. But let's say you're saving that rent. And now, uh, and, and now you, you, you have enough saved aside that you can pay cash for another home. You pay another $250,000 for a home. Would you rather pay $250,000 for that home when the home prices are high or when the home prices are low? Of course, low. In order for the home prices to be low, don't your four homes have to come down in value? Yes. If you have a million dollars in your portfolio and it comes down by 20%, that means your homes are only worth $800,000. If you're living off your rent, how does that affect you? It doesn't. If you're reinvesting and the, and the price of your homes comes down by 20%, now you get to take that cash and you get to buy another home at a 20% discount. So the reality is, is that, is that you've reinvested, you bought another home at 20%. And is the value of homes going to go down forever? Of course not. It's going to come back. The reality is, 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 is your assets have to drop. The value of your portfolio has to drop for us to get stuff on sale. And ultimately, you're going to come out smelling like a rose. But investments are not a short-term situation. Investments are long-term. Warren Buffett has said, if you can't own a stock for 10 years, you shouldn't own it for 10 minutes. I personally think 10 years is too short. We're not investing for the next six months, for the next year. We're not investing for the next two years or five years. We're investing for the rest of your lives. And every single one of you have a plan in place. If you are getting your income, your income is going to remain the same. Don't pay attention to the value. It's just noise. If you're reinvesting your income, you want to pray that we go down a little bit more and stay there for a long time so we can continue picking up your investments on the cheap. That would be your goal. When should you be worried? Is there any time that you should be worried at this point? Well, the only time I'm going to suggest that you should be worried is if you are in a position to where you are having to sell assets, sell shares of stock to get your income. And some of you are in that position, not with my, not with the money we're managing for you, unless we have a very specific plan of attack. Some of you, we have that plan of attack. But if we're managing, you're living off the dividends and interest. And, and, and as I often talk about, you're living off the eggs and you're not eating the chickens. You're leaving the chickens alone. But some of you have money elsewhere. Some of you, uh, and, and you, you might be watching this video and not even be a client of ours, and if you have money in mutual funds or you have money in stock and you're, and you're taking out you know, 3 or 4 or 5% a year from your portfolio to live, then you're not living off interest and dividends. 
you're having to sell shares to get your income every single month that you're making a withdrawal. Every single year you take your RMD, you're having to sell shares. And if you're in that position where you're having to sell shares to get your income, guess what? You should be really worried. Because now when the market goes down 10%, 20%, you've got to sell more shares to get your same income. And guess what? You're gonna cannibalize your principal faster than if the market has grown. Right. So that would be the, the, the situation where I would actually be worried is if you're having to sell shares. We don't know what this market's going to do. Is it going to be a shallow correction, 10, 12% like we are at now, and then bounce back like the last couple? Yeah, it could. You know, could it stay down at this level and we don't get back to our record highs for another year or two? Yeah, it could. We don't know. I don't care. If you're positioned properly, it doesn't matter for you. The only time that you should be concerned is if... Whatever happens to the stock market in the next year or two or five or even 10, if whatever happens to the market in the next 10 years is going to affect your ability to retire or your ability to, to accomplish a goal, if that's the case, you're invested wrong. You need, to be in a, you need to be in a position so that no matter what the market does, you can accomplish your goals. And if you're a client of mine, we have you in that position. This is not the time to panic. This is not the time to worry. We have the plan in place. We've had that conversation with every one of you. Um, and, and, and for those of you that we've recently over the last couple months or maybe even year, really, uh, you know, have repositioned a lot of your portfolio into stocks, uh, we've done a lot of that um, for you that we've had conversations individually. For those of you that have done that, we have always, always had the conversation and left you some ammunition in the gun. We, we have not taken all of the money that you want to have in stocks that you can afford to take a little more risk with and put it all in the stock market. We've known for a couple of years that the market's overvalued, that we're going to have some correction. So those of you that even have money in the stock market, you have less than, uh, than, than you could afford or you want to have in the market. And right now, we're at 12%. I think it's, it's a buying opportunity, but I don't think right now. I think we're going to go worse than we are now. I think we could get down to you know a, a 15 or 20% level. So I wouldn't necessarily uh, reposition now. Now, some of you within the last two months, we had a 10% correction a couple months ago, and then we bounced back, and now we're back down to 12%. Well, when I put out a video a couple months ago, a lot of you guys called me and, and repositioned at that point. So, uh, so I think we've done all the repositioning that you want to do. Uh, so I wouldn't change anything now. But you know, I'll, I'll get when the market gets down, if the market gets down to 20%, I'll put out another video. And I think that may be a good time to then add more to the market when you can get a 20% discount. But guys, don't panic. We've known this is coming. This is part of the plan. Every single one of you have a plan. And yet, it's easy. It's easy to panic when things are happening. Have you ever been on a plane where, <laughs> where all of a sudden you're, you're flying and everything's good and then the plane drops? And everybody in the plane is kind of like... <gasps> and it takes you a second to kind of get that breath back, right? You're, you're kind of breathing and, and your heart beats for a second and, and you're not sure. You know what? I, I imagine... The captain and the co-captain and the, and the pilot, you know, in the cockpit haven't even spilled their cup of coffee. They go through this every single day, every single day. It's just a bump. They know it's not a big deal. It feels like a big deal to the passengers. A 10 or 12% drop feels like a big deal to you. Guys, it's not a big deal. It's all part of your plan. Wanted to get that video out. If you have any questions, please call me anytime I put a video like this and anytime the market does start to you know, show us some bumps. I, I do get inundated with emails and calls, so please be patient with me. I may even take the initiative to call some of you over the weekend, Friday, uh, on my way home while driving because I do want to get back to you as well too. But just be patient with me. I'll certainly get back to you as, uh, as, you know, as I am able. But if you want to talk more, feel free to shoot me an email. Uh, feel free to give me a call and uh, more than happy to talk to you. God bless.